Bante. Now, uh, you mentioned about uh, reduction of experience. So when we are at the threshold of the Arupa Loka, that means we have gone past the fourth jhana, many people refer to the next four stages as the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth jhana. And they even refer to the final one, cessation of sensation and feeling, to be the ninth jhana. But I understand these are really not jhanas. Yeah. What are they really called uh, after the fourth jhana? They are called ayatanas. Ayatanas. They are not jhanas. Mm -hmm. These are the mistakes that people have been making uh, after, of course, the earlier teachings here. Yeah. yeah, okay. Thank you, Bhante. Okay. Uh, Bhante, about this question uh, which Billy has spoken, the gentleman. Mm. Now, in, uh, you describe the jhanas as reductions of perception. At the process of perception. Is that correct? The jhanas? No, no, no. Say it again. In the process of affection. As the, uh, at the process of attention. No, no, no. Affection. Affection. So the jhanas are reductions of the process of affection? Yeah. Not of perception. No, perception is the ayatanas. Okay, that, that is uh, nice to clarify this because yeah, yeah, we yeah. didn't clarify. So the five, the four jhanas are reductions of the process of affection, the affective process, which is like the Vedana process. Yeah, yeah. And then there's the variations of the uh, four ayatanas, which are based on the, on the four jhana, they are reductions of the process of perception. Is that correct? The, which is the cognitive process. Is the cognitive. One is the reduction of the of the affectionate process, the elements of the affectionate process. The other is the reduction of the cognitive process. That's right. Okay, this is kind of a not. It was not clear the way I was hearing. Maybe yeah, somebody yeah, have figured yeah, it out. So yeah. to clarify it for the benefit of all people. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, you uh, the, the, this uh, reduction we uh, we uh, we are explaining it with the three different sankaras. We have this, the kaya san, uh, the the uh, the, uh, the vachi sankara. Which is is that correct? The the in the first and the second jhana, the in the first jhana the 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 roots the roots of the uh, cognitive process, which is the thinking. This is thinking like a vitaka vichara, are still operating. In the second jhana, the roots of the cognitive process, meaning vitaka vichara, cease to function. In the second jhana, yeah, this vachi yeah. sankara ceases to function. Yeah. So then we are going to the fourth jhana, then uh, the, 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 uh, the, the knowing of the elements which are involved within the, uh, the jhanas, like uh, su uh, su uh, sukha uh, and uh, uh, yeah, piti yeah, yeah, and ekagata yeah, yeah. is yeah. happening in a cognition level but without words, a non-verbal uh, knowing. Is that correct? Uh, How do we know if you don't think? Yeah, uh, the the main thing is uh, the effective process is the emotional part. So, but uh, how how how, what, what, how when the we speak of affection? Yes, we are talking about the emotional part. Yes, we uh, the 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 process of reduction of the the uh, the components of the affectionate part in the jhanas, but the knowing part knows that. No, no. Knowing part is already there till we come to the the ayatanas. Yes. The cognitive part. Well, what I'm speaking is the knowing part knows the the, the reduction of the uh, uh, knows of the reduction of the elements. Knows this uh, uh, pt uh, turn to be a neutral. Then the the the, the, the third jhana appears. Then in a, in a third jhana, the sukha becomes neutral. Pleasant sensations turn to a neutral sensation. Then the consciousness, the attention moves to the ekagata uh, and uh, sati, which is the attention. Now they are there together with a sense of unity. Unification and the, that duality ceases the way you said, and then the mind is unified, and then in that stage also the breathing in and breathing out ceases, stops to function 
according to the is that stopping to function the kaya sankara is also coming to a stop is that correct does the kaya sankara ceases to find where the, the breathing stops is that correct breathing stops so uh, now the body uh, is uh, only kept alive by uh, the metabolism is based on the oxygen and the carbon dioxide uh, release so when the the body uh, uh, the breathing stops then uh, who is sustain what what sustains the body in a sense what is um, the metabolic the, the metabolistic process depends of the oxygen and the carbon dioxide uh, uh, ex exchange or uh, uh, release and in intake when you talk about respiration yes it is important to understand that there are two parts to it one is the chemical process which is to break down the sugar molecule and produce hydrogen and carbon dioxide yes that is a chemical process yes but the other is the breathing in and breathing out process the mechanical process the mechanical process now that part is what is stopped not the chemical process yes so when 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 you say breathing has stopped yes. it only means taking in oxygen and sending out carbon dioxide that part has stopped yes because maybe the activities have uh, uh, the activities the, the mind is so quiet the, the the body is in such a quiet state of place there are no activities so the body doesn't generate any more uh, carbon dioxide the, the metabolic process that, doesn't that, is that, that correct not that it doesn't generate anything the generation is going on but the breathing is not necessary so how how so what you're saying is the chemical process begin to take care of solving the problem between oxygen and uh, and carbon dioxide it's not yeah. necessary to be it's not a such a big quantities so the body doesn't need to expel and take ah, more it's such right. a such a miniature part basically because no activity yeah, no yeah, glucose yeah, burning and so yeah. on. In thank you Bhante.